Following the Disney Star Wars news of yesterday, many in the community are feeling a sense of betrayal. For some, it's so profound that it almost feels like a grandfather has turned against them, turned on his very own creation. But folks, I'm here to tell you that despite what you might be hearing from doom and gloom, we are winning. And I will show you today how you are winning. Victory is just at the edge of tomorrow. Hello folks, welcome back to the Pro Channel. It is, as always, an utter joy that you are here with us. We appreciate your time and we endeavor to explain entertainment, keep you ahead of the culture curve, make the mainstream mad. They go mad, but yet they are here every day taking notes for tomorrow's headlines. Today we are going to deadline Nelly Andriva is the author here. And folks, I'm here to tell you that you are winning. And the, the reason that you're winning is because going woke is indeed causing Hollywood to go broke. And if you have a problem with that, argue with Deadline, not with me. I'm just here to report the facts that I'm going to give you the evidences. And no, Disney is not uh, free from this either. Hollywood contraction hits entertainment executive jobs. This is a full-scale depression. Reads the headline. Now note that it is executive jobs that are under fire, and thus now it's a full-scale depression. It wasn't a full-scale depression when it was just average Joes and Janes working behind the cameras, working with the grips, working with the dollies. No, no, when they were out of work, it wasn't a full-blown, uh, full-scale depression. But by golly, you hit the execs. Well, they've got a problem. Here's the article, folks. LinkedIn is usually used by professionals for networking with people in their field, posting updates when they get a new job or congratulating friends on their promotions. These days, as one former industry type put it, it's become a therapy site for unemployed entertainment executives who share their frustrations over the lack of opportunities in Hollywood amid a major contraction. I've seen lots of downturns, lots of job losses, but I've never seen anything like this, one veteran top TV exec said. This is a full-scale depression for the entertainment industry. Over the past year, there have been waves of layoffs at Disney, Warner Brothers, Paramount, NBC Universal, Amazon, MGM, Lionsgate, Netflix, Sony, Fifth Season, and most talent agencies, including CAA and UTA. Now, folks, this is no surprise. We've been telling you this was coming. We've been telling you this was going to happen. And it's not because that I am some sort of prophet. It's because it's common sense. When you take on the market, i.e., that's you folks, that's you ladies and gentlemen listening right now, when you take on the market and you're on the wrong side of the market, it doesn't matter how big you think you are. You are never too big to fail when you go against all of the families, the vast majority of the families out there across the Golden Plains and from sea to shining sea of the United States. That is a stupid strategy. And Hollywood adapted that strategy thinking that the whole world was going to move into their quasi-religious beliefs of wokeism. That is how we get shows like The Acolyte, which now we're finding out from Leslie Headland, and yes, we'll cover this, it's based on Frozen, and it is intended to be yet another uh, propaganda piece for the alphabet groups out there. Take a look at this, though, folks. I want you to see that you're winning. Take hope, my friends. I promise. Sunny days are just ahead. Take a look at this. The Acolyte official trailer from Disney+. Plus. Likes to dislikes. Now, I don't... Listen, there are people out there who do not think about these things in the way that you and I do. They don't think at the level that we do on this. And they watch this and they see pretty uh, effects and, and attacks and cool. And they don't notice, hey, there's basically no guys in this. And they don't notice, hey, this looks like the DEEI Dippin' Dots mutated and became something terrifying because there's definitely no white dudes. That's exclusion. And they don't think about, hey, wait a minute. The hero is saying that there's no good, no bad. It's just power. That's, that's neo-Marxist. They don't think about that. But so many do. Look at this. As many people taking the time to dislike this as to vote it up. And those dislikes are more important. Why are they more important? They're more important because 
when you click the dislike button, most people can't see this. I'm running a special uh, extension that allows me to show you the like to dislike ratio. So when you click dislike, it goes into the ether. And yet there are enough people out there who are like, you know what? I don't even care if you won't show it anymore. I, I'm still going to click this dislike button. That's how, that's how viscerally people are responding to the stuff that we've been seeing. Let's go back. The dire situation bordering on worst case scenario. Worst case scenario. The seasoned TV executive said was created by a perfect storm of COVID strikes and poor management decisions coming home to roost driven by short-sighted moves by media companies aimed at goosing their quarterly reports to appease Wall Street. All right, let's break this down because there's something here missing badly, right? Going woke, <laughs> right? Adopting a cultural worldview perspective and propagating that and propagandizing that throughout your media when it is not being accepted by half your audience. That's a problem. These other things are problems too, but that's a big problem. But we're not at the point yet where even anonymous TV execs can admit that because it's terrifying if you get outed, they'll take you down for that because you have become a heretic. But the perfect storm of COVID, we're past COVID, I'm done with that. Okay, throw that out. Strikes and poor management decisions coming home to roost, driven by short-sighted moves by media companies aimed at goosing their quarterly reports to abuse Wall Street. That's what we've been telling you Disney's doing. Now, folks, remember, we've been telling you that Disney stock, although we're not financial experts and we're not here to give you financial advice, we've been telling you Disney stock was almost definitely going to go up. Again, not because we're profits, but because when there's a proxy battle, stocks go up. Why do stocks go up? Well, because there's a limited supply of stocks and there's a huge demand to get those stocks to try to move the needle with those votes for who's going to be in charge. And folks, when we're talking about the Disney situation, that this is what this is about, goosing their quarterly reports to appease Wall Street. They're talking about Disney. That's what Disney is doing. It's what Disney has been doing. And that's why I've been telling you all that the problem is for Bob Iger that if Nelson Peltz and Jay Rasulo stick around for another year, which they don't have to, Nelson Peltz could get out tomorrow and he will he will have made billions of dollars because the proxy battle drove the stock up so he can sell his stocks tomorrow he can cash out and make a ton of money and i who could hold it against him to make that kind of money but if he chooses to make a principled stand and stand against disney for another year they can't continue to goose the quarterly reports they're going to run out of gas there's not any more gas in the tank you can't suddenly throw another moana 2 out of nowhere and pretend it's going to work because we're actually going to see what happens when you try to make an animated film in six months. It's not only that, though, of course. Um, you, you've also got the strikes. And the strikes are not over. We've been covering this. IATSE likely to strike again later this year. Yahtzee! And if that happens, then Hollywood is in deep, deep trouble. Those venting about their experiences on LinkedIn say that they have sent hundreds of job applications and never got a response to the majority of them not even from HR. Some have been on the sidelines for more than a year while trying to pick up consulting and other part-time gigs to pay the bills. The more senior executives turn to headhunters. It says, I have certainly an influx of, of ex executives that reach out and say they're looking for their next job, said top Hollywood executive recruiter Jamie Waldron, senior partner, global head of sports media entertainment, Modern Executive Solutions. His conservative estimate is that a good 20% of the VP and above executive workforce in media and entertainment is out of work from a year ago. That's the money people. The money people aren't making money. Only the people at the highest levels, only the Bob Igers, right? They're, they still have their yachts. They still have their two shower days. They still have their pet hippos. They are still virtue signaling from their private jets and telling you that they're putting out a new documentary that tells you that you should cut back. That is the last remaining vestige of people doing well in Hollywood. And why? Because they all went on board with the woke agenda. And it is a quasi-religious belief system that is opposed to the vast majority, maybe 80% of the market. That was always insane. Let me give you an example of that. This is an article out of That Park Place. Really appreciate Yellow Flash covering this yesterday. Flash did an awesome job covering this. It's an article out of That Park Place by John Trent. Test screening for Captain America Brave New World Goes Poorly. We've been, we've been hearing about all of these movies that are being canceled left and right by Disney. 
We've been hearing about movies canceled by other companies as well. We've also been hearing about companies reaching out to renew uh, movies that were derided as conservative and backward, like Top Gun Maverick. Who's ready for Top Gun 3? But in this case, look, Captain America Brave New World, delayed, reshot, after they found out, hey, putting politics into this movie is just killing us. It says a new rumor claims that a test screen for Marvel Studios upcoming in Captain America Brave New World did not go well. The rumor comes from X user O H I M A T M O H I M A T M who shared, I've been able to get some insight into what some of the main issues were at the Captain America Brave New World test screenings. Apparently, audiences were unimpressed by the film's action scenes and the chemistry between Cap and his love interest. But the biggest issue was how audiences responded to the film's political content. You might think this would mean audiences found it divisive, but it was actually worse than that. They found it boring. I'm told that it overall, the overall feel was that the political, political material was uninspired and unengaging. And yes, folks, that is because when Hollywood attempts to go into politics, they tend to have a two-year-old's understanding of, of geopolitical issues. They're not deeply cognizant of, of the issues of the day. They don't understand what actual real people are facing because they're too busy telling you what you should do with your compost as they float around the world in their private jets worried that global warming might put an inch of water into their expansive estates and fill their diamond-studded swimming pools. It's a real problem. That's how we've arrived at this place where Hollywood is in such a contraction that is a full-scale depression affecting their major money-making executives. Now, do I take joy in this? And do you take joy in this? No, this is not schadenfreude time. One, because we have not won yet. And two, because this is so simple that it's hard to take pleasure in it. It's like watching a toddler wanting to po poke their finger into an outlet, right? It's like watching somebody want to put their hand in hot water. You say, no, don't do that. That is dumb. You know, and then when you're, when your 20-year-old cousin puts their hand under the hot water and goes, ouch, that burns. You have to say, well, duh. Well, duh. And that's what we're saying about Hollywood. That's what all of you should be saying out there about Hollywood. Don't join in with the boo birds and the utter blues. I get that some of you out there are deeply hurt by what George Lucas did. I get that some of you don't buy into this theory that Valiant Renegade put out there yesterday. I find it very convincing, by the way, that Given the, the connections between J.P. Morgan and the statements made from J.P. Morgan and then George Lucas's wife working there on the board, and then an, a, a statement comes out from George Lucas that looks like it was written from Disney. I, I like Valiant's theory on this. I think, it's, I think it's sound. But some of you are not in the mood for that, and some of you are not in the mood. You think that Kathleen Kennedy has utterly won, and uh, the side that thinks that Gina Carano is a lovely, wonderful person, that that side is lost. I'm here to tell you, folks. You're giving up just before you win the victory. And the victory is so simple. The victory is that you're normal. You just believe in the values that have made the best societies thrive. And you should keep believing those things. And you should not fall for the idea that Hollywood is winning right now. They're in a full-scale depression. There's, a, there's an exodus, folks. There's an exodus of people leaving New York, Los Angeles, and Chicago. A million people in the last two years leaving those locations to go to other places in the country because they still have common sense. Do not give up. Do not decide this is the time to panic or to fall to the side or to, to give up all hope. No, do not be depressed. And we also sit at the cusp of a time when it will be far easier for people like you, somebody or somebody's out there watching this video right now, are just the kinds of geniuses to make the kinds of franchises and properties that we will love. Hollywood, especially the Wokies, should be terrified because you are about to be empowered through programs and software and all of that that will allow you to make the dreams, the visions, the fun of tomorrow. And you were always better at it. You just didn't have the power. And I cannot wait to see it happen. Entertainment will thrive and will flourish. It will go on. It will continue. Nintendo is on the right side of this. Fortnite's doing great. Look at how some of the greatest movies in the last few years have done. 
and look at what was behind their thinking. Folks, great days are on the way. That is the video for this morning. We hope that it was uplifting. I think some of you need to hear this. You are the right kind of person to start writing stories. I can't wait to read them, experience them. I cannot wait. Folks, if you enjoy videos like this, consider clicking the like button. Share, subscribe, click it, stick it to the algorithms. It's the notification bell. Drop a comment down below and let us know your thoughts. And folks, we'll have a, a special pro show live Thursday, 5 p.m. Eastern time, as we continue to cover so much news that it's hard to keep up. But that is why we are the experts at doing so, and you are the gigawatts that power it all. Folks, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, keep learning, keep growing, and keep having fun. Ah, Floral, it's time for you to walk the plank. What? Why? Because you, you haven't subscribed to WDW Pro yet. Nor bookmark that parkplace.com on your web browser to get great articles from great contributors. What?